So 2020 for us was, was, was a challenge, I think, just like everyone else. But we also saw, saw an opportunity that was gonna arise. So we created SAR Apartment Capital throughout this pandemic. What, you know, what we created was an, an investment vehicle through our knowledge and through our background that me and my partners have of uh, buying distressed properties. We knew that there was gonna be a lot of this going on. And, and not just because tenants are defaulting, but what happened to, to the industry of multifamily is a lot of people bought properties and they weren't well capitalized or they thought that there was more money coming in and then the pandemic hit. Their partners just don't have money to allocate to the investments and immediately we saw opportunities. Uh, it's, it actually was the busiest year for us. We bought over 800 units during the pandemic and which are assets that we're now currently remodeling and we picked up these assets at 40 to 50 percent below market value. So 2020 was also a challenge with uh, managing, managing our multifamilies. I mean, it, it's, it's no secret that what's going on with tenants and their difficulty of paying. Um, I mean, we've, we've managed to communicate with our tenants, with our property management company, and, and strategize on executing our vision of you know, having stable properties and returning investments to our investors. I mean, at the end of the day, our investors is our priority. So making sure that our assets are well managed, that we find resources to help our tenants out to find solutions for them paying their rent. Now, one of the challenges too that I personally had, the personal growth that I wanted, I always wanted to do blogs, I always wanted to do videos, but I was always very intimidated by the camera. And um, what I decided to do is during the pandemic, I had a lot of time to think about strategies. And you know, I, I, I took a quote from Tim Ferriss and I decided to do, Instead of setting goals, my goals are set on the things that I'm scared of doing. So this is one of my goals in 2020 to end up doing videos and blogs and kind of kind of showcasing so what you know we do every day in the business of multifamily. We, we and we, we I also I also decided to do a podcast. The podcast was actually something I wanted to do for a very long time. Um, I enjoy talking to people in the industry, and it kind of also gives me an excuse to talk to certain people that probably won't talk to me. Uh, in, in another scenario, but if I could get them on a podcast and I could pick their brain, well, even better. So this pandemic has brought us a lot of opportunities to our SAR apartment capital. Um, you know, throughout, throughout, the, throughout the year, we were able to acquire many assets that were distressed and, and needed that extra push of, of a bump up to get the projects up and going. And that's what we're going to continue doing. We're going to continue pursuing this type of opportunities. Because there's something that, that I tr strongly do believe in is that this country is very resilient and, and, and we will come out of this. So if you want to reach out and talk to me more about multifamilies or opportunities or you just want to talk about real estate, please reach out to me at abiobiesteros.com.